Hey guys, now I think you can consider this a part 2 to the last video, but not really. But in this video I will be showing you Cartoon Network's weekend schedule, tell you how I would improve on both weekdays and weekends, and do a small rant on Nick and their scheduling, as well as showing you their Pluto TV channels. And then as a bonus, I will be showing you the boomerang schedule for Cinco de Mayo. So, without wasting any more time, let's dig in already. Because I want to try to make this as short as possible, unlike that last video, which was way too long. Okay, so let's start off by showing you the weekend schedule for Cartoon Network. So here we have regular show for an hour and a half, Scooby-Doo movie, Tiny Toons University, Ivan and Doe, Teen Titans Go, for two hours, The Looney Tunes Show, Tiny Toons, Gumball, Ivan Doe, more Gumball, and then Scooby-Doo and Guess Who. Then that's basically it. Now moving on to Sunday. So here we have Ivan Doe, Gumball, Scooby-Doo and Guess Who, Scooby-Doo Movie, Wabbit, Looney Tunes Show, Tiny Toons, Tom and Jerry Show, Steven Universe, Adventure Time, and Regular Show. So, Sundays... Oh yeah, movie, Acme Night. Oh. Sundays is looking good. The only change I would really do is just replace an extra half hour of Looney Tunes show with Steven Universe. And then, of course, We Bear Bears is gone, but I could care less about that show. It's okay. Seriously, why do they need to have 90 minutes? Well, I guess if you would take it off a of boomerang, it's okay, but... I don't think I really approve of that. It's fine, though. So now I will tell you how I would improve on weekdays and weekends. Now at the shooting of this video, I don't see next week in, like confirming, but I think it's easy to to say like what stuff needs to be improved on weekdays. There isn't much, though. And yes, Checkered Pass is going to be changing soon, so I'll make another video on that. Don't worry. So, let's start off here. So, the Tom and Jerry show can definitely stay here. And then, this. Well, Craig of the Creek would actually be involved with this half hour, so I guess it's fine. That can stay as well. Half an hour of Teen Titans Go should be replaced with Craig of the Creek. Replace this half hour here with more Wee Bear Bears. Replace this gumball slots after Ivendell with Adventure Time. Like, I've heard someone on Twitter say they wanted that to happen too, and I actually agree with them. So, yeah, replace this with Adventure Time. Even though I still think that show sucks, but many fans love it, so they'll appreciate it. And then regular show can stay. Alright, now for Saturday. Yeah, you can tell this is going quick, because there's really not much to talk about. All right, Saturday. This hour and a half of regular show can honestly stay because this extra half hour is used as Scooby-Doo movie filler. And then this hour is basically stationary, so that can definitely be around. And then Tiny Toons can stay here. Ivan Doe can stay. Replace an hour of Teen Titans Go with Uncle Grandpa and Apple and Onion. Or one hour with Uncle Grandpa because I find it odd how, aside from special events, we don't get Uncle Grandpa on a daily basis ever since those Sundays when they decided to replace it. I didn't really like that decision, so it'd be great if they brought it back. Alright, Looney Tunes Show can stay, Tiny Toons can stay. They could replace this with another half hour of Tiny Toons if they want. Replace Ivan, well, I guess they can keep it there if they want. But replace an hour of gumball with apple and onion, and then keep the rest. And then Scooby-Doo and Guess Who can stay there. Okay. So now I want to show you whatever Nick will be doing, because... Oh boy. It sucks. Like... Okay, yeah, I'm gonna do a small mini rant on their... Their scheduling. And I've heard many people were saying... Well, before I say that... This is basically how my new styles of rants will be like 
from now on. And many people are asking me if I should continue my Rants and Salute series. They even asked me on that episode of Ask Cray R. Okay, once I decide to make that video, once you guys ask me so many, so many questions, I will answer that in full detail. But for now, I'll say this. The reason why I don't make those videos anymore is because I actually lost interest in them. And doing them. And besides, whenever I would rant, whenever I did those videos, I would get tons of a bunch of hate. It's like, why would you hate on people just for having their own opinion? We are allowed, and we are we have the rights to our own opinion. If anyone says like, "Oh my God, you ranted on the show, you suck," uh, no, no, you need to handle people's opinions. It's fine if you like something I don't like, and if you hate something that I like. It's okay. I can handle your opinion. But you guys need to handle mine, including the people that's been hating on me all these years. I've gotten through that. So basically, if you're hating on me, I'm going to have to hate on you back because that's kind of like a little revenge for you. But yeah, I just find it stupid that people would just hate on others for not for just hating on something they like and stuff like that. But yeah, Basically, what I'm saying is that they're not going to be continued, I'm afraid. And I might actually delete some of those salutes, like on SML characters, because I don't like those that channel anymore. But yeah, you guys get the point. So I'm going to show you, not yet, I'm going to put it to um, weekends and weekdays. And I'm going to be silent for a little bit. I want you guys to see how bad Nickelodeon scheduling is. And pay attention to how many shows they air, because it's not much. It isn't. Alright guys, here we go. You see how bad their schedule is? Like, all you see is mostly Spongebob, Friends, The Loud House, Paw Patrol, Henry Danger, and The Loud House, and The Thundermans. Like, is this really how Nick wants people to look at their shows? It's like, I swear, I don't think they like their own jobs, because basically at their headquarters they're like, Uh, okay, four channels, what are we gonna do? I know, let's let's just use a few shows. Let's see. Going through our library. Ah, let's do SpongeBob, uh Paw Patrol, uh Thundermans, Henry Danger, and Loud House. That's it. We're not gonna choose Hey Arnold or iCarly or The Mighty Bee or Cat Scratch. None of those. We're just gonna do these shows. Really guys? So you're getting rid of all your old shows and giving us these piece of garbage of schedules just because your shows are on Paramount Plus. I don't approve of that. Like, come on. If, if you haven't been paying attention to Cartoon Network, Adult Swim, and Boomerang, they've been having, like, what? 50, they use 50 shows from their library, at least. So they know how to use their library. But Nick, they only use, like, what, 20? It's pathetic. Why can't Nickelodeon just shut down and just make a... A nice selection on, well, they do have a nice selection on Paramount Plus, but like, make like a channel regarding those. And thankfully, I will be showing you these Pluto TV channels because their stuff is a lot better. Firstly, let me mute this so I don't get copyrighted. So, guys, give me a minute and I will r quickly show you about um, Pluto TV. All right. Now, I must say that it's going to be even harder to film like this because they show footage of these shows. Like you see here, they're actually showing Thomas and Friends. Because they actually have it on a channel called Sensical. Um, there you go, Sensical Junior. 
And yes, this picture is actually from Big World Big Adventures, but I don't care because they show classic Thomas and Friends episodes. But that's not what I'm focusing here. I'm focusing on these Nickelodeon Pluto channels. Like, like with Nick Jr. or Pluto TV, they actually show a lot more things than the original Nick Jr., which is a shame. Blue's Clues, Dora the Explorer, and even Bubble Guppies. Yeah, I did hear they had um, Blue's Clues new, but they replaced it with the original. Wow, replacing a new show with an old show? You don't see that every day, especially nowadays. And as you can see with Nickelodeon Pluto TV, their lineup is a lot more just diverse than the original Nick. I mean, yeah, you have SpongeBob and the Loud House, but you also have iCarly, the Thundermans, the Fairly Odd Parents, TMNT. It's definitely diverse. And yes, yeah, I did say SpongeBob, but, but get this, they actually show it for 30 minutes. 30 minutes. I am not joking you. So yeah, you can definitely say Nick, the Nick Pluto channels are better than the original Nick. How is that possible? And bro, you even have like Bob the Builder, Chuckington, and Game Show Central, as I mentioned in the last video. <clears throat> you get Minute to Win It, Catch 21, Idiot Test, Get a Clue, um, Divided, Win Sanity. You, yeah. So this is how... This is the reason why you don't put Game Shows Network doesn't put the shows on weekends because they're on Game Show Central. I'm happy they're somewhere, but it would be great if they put it, put them on weekends just to mix in variety. I mean, as I've stated in the last video also, it's so weird how they only use common knowledge and that's it. But I do think it's okay. They also have freaking America Says and Family Feud, which is weird too. So that could also also explain why they don't air much America Says on Game Show Network anymore, especially on weekdays. Weekends, they show it quite a bit. And really quickly here, I think I should show you what the other channels are doing. Like, look at this. Since I'm, also, I'm, I'm on Pluto TV, I might as well show you the other stuff they have. I mean, you get Legends of Korra, Dora the Explorer, as I've stated before. And, yeah, you get lots of stuff on here. There's even a freaking Game Show Network section with classic shows and a Deal or No Deal channel. And also, there's a channel with Family Feud, too, but, yeah, that's okay. Like, look at this. Yeah, a minute to win it. Deal or No Deal. Family Feud. The Price is Right. You even get classic shows. Split second. Let's make a deal. Super password. They even have catch... I mean, um, card sharks. Not the Christmas version from Game Show Network. It's like the original one. But yeah. They're on a, this channel called Buzzer. And it's basically Boomerang, but with game shows. Yeah. They should have a channel called Buzzer on my, my regular TV. That'd be nice. Now, honestly, actually, these aren't the only channels I have that are Pluto TV. Because there's a whole entire section right, right, right here that shows all those channels. And I'll be showing these as another bonus. If it can load, that is. Oh, there it is. Okay. Channel guide. Okay. Like, okay, this isn't the section I wanted. It's the kids section. So you, there's Nick Jr., Zoom Zoom, Dora TV, Little Universe, look, Yo Gabba Gabba, freaking Yo Gabba Gabba is on here. And I haven't seen that on live TV since like 2014, which is crazy. You get all these other cringe, 
cringy channels. And look here, there's 90s kids with Hey Arnold and stuff, and Totally Teen with Henry Danger. But that's not the only show. You also have Danger Force, and old shows like iCarly and Victorious. You cannot tell me that's not perfect. And there's all these other channels I have here too. Look, you even get freaking 16. Does anyone remember 16? They remember, like, like, do you remember it? Like, I remember it aired on Cartoon Network in like the early 2000s, 2010s. I'm surprised that's on there. Like, I haven't seen a whole episode, but it's just weird. Not just weird, but cool to see it. And yeah, you have, you get other things that's not on TV anymore. You get Garfield and Friends on Pluto TV. Like, look at all these. So, basically, Paramount Plus, or any other reason why these old shows aren't on here, aren't the only reason, because they're on Pluto TV. Okay, now I'm going to revert back to the original TV, because before closing this video off, I need to show you Boomerang's schedule for um, Cinco de Mayo. Yes, I'm watching it, Ed and Eddie, don't ask. Um... Okay, let's go to Boomerang, and I'll show you what they'll, yeah, there's my leg, and I'll show you what they'll be doing on Cinco de Mayo, because I think it was confirmed on that last time, but I, I didn't really check correctly, but I'll show you here. It's actually good, so after that, starting at 5, you get Classic Looney Tunes. The Flintstones, Scooby-Doo and Scrappy-Doo, Jellystone, Sc more Scooby-Doo and Scrappy-Doo, The Scooby-Doo Show, Scooby-Doo Mystery Incorporated, What's New Scooby-Doo, and then the Scooby-Doo movie. So it's basically Mexico and like, like Mexican theme related, which makes sense. Cinco de Mayo. Okay, I must say this about Scooby-Doo, The Scooby-Doo Show. I don't like how they only air the show for special reasons. Like, it's clearly classic. It came from the olden days. Like, look, 1976, it belongs to the channel. Why can't they air this on a daily basis? I want them to. Like, come on, people that work for a buyer and day buyer himself, air this show. It belongs to the channel. Forget Scooby-Doo and, and Guess Who and replace it. Please. Alright. So that's basically it for this video. Thanks guys for watching. And make sure you do whatever you need to do. Do what you like. Like and stuff. And that's it. So see you guys in the next video. Here's a black screen. And yeah. Peace out.